Before we get started, I'd like to introduce my Inkscape beginner course. Here, I'm going to explain in detail all the tools, the tool sets, and features in the Inkscape program. I'll explain what they are, how to use them, and why we use them. If you'd like to check that out, I'll have a link to that in the description. Hello everyone, it's Lori at artatdesigns.ca. I'm going to show you a really simple way of creating the infinity icon in Inkscape. So let's get started. Just make some space here. So we're going to do that by choosing the square tool and we're going to do it with the corner widget, which is new to newer versions of Inkscape. So let's press shift and control, create a perfectly square square. And then we'll open up this panel right here. Double click and we'll go to the fill tab. We'll click X. We don't want to fill. Click the stroke button, choose pixels and is my stroke not on? Okay, stroke. Let's turn the stroke on by going to the stroke panel. Click it on and go to the stroke style. And I've got I've got 80 chosen here. 80. Press enter. Uh, so a, a nice big stroke, something like that. And we'll close out of this menu. Um, so this is a shape right now, and we want it to be a path. So let's go to path and object to path. We do that so that we can get nodes. So if I click on the nodes tool, you'll see we now have four nodes we can edit. Let's go back to the select tool, we'll go to path, path effects, click the plus sign, look for corners, and I'm going to leave all the defaults, I don't really need to do anything here, all I need to do is select these, and if I zoom in you'll see that they're green. So let's press shift and select three out of four nodes, and make sure they're highlighted, it looks like a little white box around the green box, um, and just grab this one here and pull it in. And I want you to pay attention to the top where the two nodes kind of start to meet there. Don't go further than where they meet. Okay, so don't do something like this, otherwise you're gonna get a terrible shape. Okay, so just where they meet at the top there, don't go further. Whoops. All right, that'll work too. Okay, uh, when we're satisfied with that, we'll go to path and object to path. Okay, then we can close out of this path effects and close this up again, we don't need it. Click again to get the rotation handles, press control, and then we'll just turn it so that the point is like so. Okay, and then we're going to right click and duplicate. We'll choose this button right here, flip it horizontally, press control and drag it out till we go with something like that. Okay, so now we're, um, this is a stroke still. Um, we've got our shape, but if we want to do something like like this where I've cut it so that it goes underneath itself and then goes back up again, something like that. We can just finalize this stroke, so path and stroke to path. So it's, and now it's a, uh, just an object here. Uh, we'll go path, union. So it's, it's a fill rather than a stroke. Um, okay, so let's go to the pen tool. Let's click in here. I'm gonna draw a square in the middle and if you have your snapping tools on, this should be pretty easy. I'll turn it red. Your snapping tools up here, enable snapping and snapping. I have actually too many tools on. Uh, just these ones, make sure you enable snapping. Snapping is on. Okay, so our square is drawn. Come down here, press shift and X. We'll get rid of the stroke and just have a red fill. Now I'm going to duplicate this red box, control D to duplicate it. And then I'm gonna snap it up here again. This time I'm gonna turn it green. Control D, we'll make another one. And uh, actually, that's not where I want it. I want it about here. I basically want to find the, the midpoint of the red object. So we'll just snap the green ones to each other. Press Shift, select both green ones, group them. And now we need to center it to the red object. So, so to find the red object, which is underneath the green objects, we have to press Alt and Shift. And that should select them both. You see two bounding boxes here. Open up the Align and Distribute and make sure you have last selected chosen. Click this one and this one here to align them. So now we have found the center of that red object. Let's press Alt and click so we can get the red object and then raise it to the top. So now we're gonna duplicate this red object and just cut these green pieces in half. So let's ungroup the green pieces, ungroup them, and then we'll right click, duplicate the red objects. So we have two red objects and two green objects, or yeah, two green objects. So select the red object, press shift, select the first green object, uh, path and difference. Red object, press shift, select the other green object, 
path difference. It may seem like a, a long workaround to get this. Um, I mean, there's different tools in uh, Illustrator that would make this a lot quicker, but um, I, and Inkscape, it probably has like different ways of doing it as well. Um, okay, so one thing I want you to know here, um, what I like to do in addition to this, like let, let's turn this white for a second so I can explain this. You see like there's a black line there. Sometimes it gives us bad nodes. So what I like to do in addition, I'll just turn those green again. Um, I like to grab the nodes here and just move it over a tad. Uh, just the bottom ones here. In an effort to not have bad nodes. Okay, so I'll select both green objects and I'm going to press path and union. And then I'll press shift, select the black object. And we'll go path, difference, okay? So let's have a look at the nodes and see what we got here. Okay, we got a couple of extras. This one here I'm a little worried about. Okay, I'm gonna delete it. Looks like it's doubled up here. Um, I'll turn that back into a corner. Turn that back into a corner. Um, again, this, this is extra nodes we don't need. Um, we will keep that one, turn that back into a corner, and that back into a corner. This is just to, like a cleanup. Uh, I don't remember it used to do this so so much. It created uh, like double stacked nodes or whatever. Um, okay, so this will make, you're probably wondering why we're doing this at all. Okay, so um, it'll just make the next step much easier. So let's say you want to create something like this. You can have some funny after effects if you don't clean up your, your nodes. Okay, so I'll press Control D and I'll make another copy here. So let's go back to this panel right here. Double click it open. And we're going to choose pixels again. Um, I'll choose 20 this time. Enter, 2, 0, Enter. So stroke, we'll turn it on. Fill, we'll turn it off. Okay, so we basically got the opposite here. And this is what I mean about unexpected behavior. So let's have a look at this right here, this one. So it's like, a, I don't know if it's doubled. Yeah, it is, okay. So I missed it, but maybe that's good for you to see. You know, uh, now you know why we do these things. Okay, I'm gonna make that a corner. Okay, and I'll get rid of that. Delete. Let's try that again, Control D. Nodes look good. Um, again, we'll go to the fill, we'll turn it off, stroke, we'll turn it on, stroke style, choose 20. Okay, so there, there we have We have this one actually. So if I make this like 60, you see it starts to go into each other. Um, I'm gonna press Control D on this one and I'll show you the other one. So I'll do that back at 20 pixels. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do, because this is now a stroke, let's go to the nodes here. We can just essentially select this, select this, select this. And we're to select them all, you just like the ones that you want, you just press Shift. Come up here to the nodes panel, click this button right here and break them. Okay, it might be tricky to delete. There we go. Select and delete, okay? So that's how you can create this, 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 uh, this effect here too. Okay, so that's just like a few different ways to add different touches to the infinity icon design in Inkscape. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please do hit the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.